Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll see how to get the last row with data in a worksheet in Excel using VBA macros. And for that, I have here an example with a table and actually some other tables here to show you the different ways we may want to address this. So let's go to the Visual Basic Editor. Get last row with data. Now we're going to put the last row in a variable and in this example that could be actually an integer because we don't have more than 18 or 20 rows. But in general you may rather want to declare that as a long because in case you have more than 32,000 rows with data, putting that into an integer variable would prompt an error. So you rather want to have your last row variable declared as a long. Then probably the most commonly used method to use the last row is the following. You're going to actually target the last cell in the worksheet and this will apply to the active sheet and that's rows count. That's going to give you one million something, right? The last row in your worksheet. And then you need to specify which column you want to take as a reference. Usually you have a normal table starting in column A, you're going to have here column A. But now we'll see what's the problem with that, in, in, for example, in this particular worksheet. Then you want to use the end property to move up, actually, from the last row to find the first row with content starting from the end, if that makes sense. And finally, you're going to get the row number. That may seem a bit complicated, but that's probably the most commonly used method. Now, if you want to get this in some other sheet, you would write here sheet 2, sheet 3, or, of course, uh, with the name, sheets, um, name of the sheet here, you know, something like that. So you would reference the worksheet where you want to get the last row with content. Now, if we display now this we're going to get, as you see here in the table, we're going to get actually row 18, right? Because we've used column A. And we may be looking for that last row, but let's say you want to get the last row overall, including this little table down here. So then you could do two things. You could, of course, replace here the column with B. So that would check in column B, and if we run it now, of course, it's going to give you 20. That's the last row looking at column B. Now, a variation of this method, which is not used a lot, is actually starting from the top. So instead of rows count, you would start from row 1. And then instead of going up, you would be going down. What's going to happen here? Well, what is going to happen here is that even even though we're considering column B, this is going to start from the top going down up to this line because then it's going to find the blank. So it's going to give an erroneous uh, number. As you see here, we get 18 because it's going from top to bottom. And as soon as it finds a, a blank row, it ends. So that's why we rather use Excel app and rows count starting from the bottom to make sure we don't have problems with blank rows. Because maybe in this case it makes sense, but imagine you have a blank row somewhere here for some reason, and then you want to get the last row and, and suddenly you get this one. So that's why this method is used. Now, another thing we could do is using the used range. So the last row would be in sheet one or the active sheet used range, then we're going to have a special cells, X cell, last cell in the used range, and then get the row of that last cell. That may look even a bit more complicated, but that's a way we could actually get also the last row for this type of uh, table. So as you see, we get actually number 20 because when we use the used range property, it's going to take all of this. This is going to be the used range in this worksheet. So it's going to actually get down to row 20 
and it's actually going to go over to the right to column H. And we will see in a moment how to get the last column with data as well. But this is another way you could actually uh, get the last row with content. Using the used range property together with special cells for the last cell. So that's how we get the last row with content in a worksheet with Excel VBA. Thanks for watching.